Abdi is a peace and security analyst in the Horn of Africa. He's also a political strategist and commentator. He has been on this program uh, previous time also. We welcome him today to the program to discuss on a number of very pertinent issues and to begin with the BBI. Welcome, Mr. Abdi Nur Mahad, once you, I go into a speaker's gallery. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. BBI. Yes. You're well read, well exposed, well endowed with your brilliance on, 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 on contemporary matters in the country. What is your take on the BBI report? Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I had said earlier in this show. Yes, I remember. Yes. Yes. That the Building Bridges Initiative. Yes. I termed it as a banal, boring initiative yeah. at that time. Yes. Banal, boring initiative. initiative. Yes. Something so repetitive. Yes. I say that because we had so many other reports. The Truth, Justice and Reconciliation Commission report. We have the Krieger report. We have the Ndungu Commission report, so many other reports. The Waki report. The Waki report, yes. Waki Commission. Yes. Therefore, doing that again, mm. I found it to be banal, yeah. so boring and monotonous. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, I would say this, mm. the initiative, during the collection of views of the BBI, yes. was so much affected yes. by three factors. Yes. One. Yes the failure of what I call Ruto Gate. Mm -hmm. Ruto is Gate. William Ruto. William Ruto. It's called Ruto Gate. I call it Ruto Like Gate. the water gate. Yes. Uh -huh. The failure mm -hmm. of Ruto Gate. Mm -hmm. Ruto Gate, mm -hmm. I would define it yes. as a deliberate, yeah. concerted yeah. effort yes. at maligning yeah. the name of the deputy president. And blocking him from the presidency. To block him from the presidency. Yes. Linking him to yeah. every corruption yeah. from 1963 even before he was born yes. to today. Yes. <laughs> that failed. Uh -huh. And that was during the collection of views yes. of the BBI. Yes. True to get failed. Yes. The other factor which affected yes. the, uh, the BBI yes. is what I call bedroomization of politics. Yes. Bedroomization of politics started during the Kibera by election. Mm -hmm where Raila Odinga and his cohorts mm -hmm. called Kibera their enclave. Yes, their bedroom. Their bedroom. Mm -hmm. Therefore, yeah. while the BBI agitated mm -hmm. for uh, an election free of violence. Mm -hmm. Building bridges. And building bridges. This was demolishing bridges and bedroomization. Bedroomization yeah. Yeah. was demolishing bridges. Yeah. Yeah. The third factor mm. which affected so much the BBI, especially yes. in northern Kenya, yes. is something I call electronic genocide. Where the population was basically completely not captured. Po people, the population in northern Kenya mm. died in the service of the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics. Yes. By the sheer murder yeah. of 1.6 million people yes. in the service of Kenya National Bureau of Statistics. Yes. They I, killed them all. They killed them in the service. Yes. <laughs> Therefore, it is electronic genocide. Uh -huh. You are bringing a nation together, yes. building bridges, yes. and killing 1.6 million, 1 million people electronically. electronically. Uh -huh. Those are not building bridges. Yes. Let me come back finally to Hutogit. Yes. Immediately after the handshake, yes. we saw mm. a wing of uh, the handshake, yes. the Raila-led wing, yes. agitating for the impeachment of the deputy president. Mm -hmm. We saw them linking every corrupt activity in this country to William Ruto. Yes. Those are not building bridges. They are breaking it. Therefore, the BBI, before even the report, mm -hmm. was affected by these three factors. Mm -hmm. Yes. So... Have, have, were, were they have succeeded in, in the electronic genocide against Northern Kenya people. They've also succeeded in treating this country into ethnic enclaves such that you have what you call a, a particular 
political persuasions bedroom. Bedroom. This is Raila's bedroom, so it's a Lua bedroom. This is Uhuru's bedroom, so it's a Kikui bedroom. Yeah. This is a Kalenjin bedroom. And, and, and the list goes on and on. In light of what has been happening for the whole eight months or nine months when the BBI was working, and the report that is there now, what you have now discussed is what informed the report. Yes. But what is the report's significance going forward from now? I read the report. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, I would emphatically mm. say mm. that it is a collection mm. of all other former reports. So basically what they did is they just uh, collected and collected all reports and put them together in some kind of a hodgepodge yes. and brought it out there. Yes. So the idea is not to be specific. The idea is not to do a limited actions as a result of the report. The idea is to confuse the country further. It is meant to confuse the country further. Yes. The only thing I, Kenyans are happy about yes. is that uh, while one wing of the BBI yes. agitated for the creation of a powerful prime minister, yes. for the political reincarnation yes. of, of one individual, yes. the BBI mm -hmm. failed. Mm -hmm. And I watched one of the secretaries, mm -hmm. that is lawyer Paul Mwangi, a very highly respected lawyer in this country, yeah. on television saying that when they went to the 47 counties in Kenya, mm. Kenyans rejected the idea of a powerful prime minister. That was something good. Mm. Uh, and it was so the prime minister's position was supposed to be created for Raila? Yes. Are you sure? It's just, yes, yes. To uh, it's another, another school of thought that says that the idea was to have Raila kicked upwards to become a ceremonial president with absolutely no executive powers yes. except to receive ambassadors from other countries, yeah. and, and, and Uhuru to come back as a prime minister to give a new lease of life to, to Uhuru. Of course, yes. that's what I'm saying. Yes. The end justifies the means. Yes. Raila's aim yes. is to become president of this country. Yes. Uh, therefore, he would create another position yes. to give it to somebody else, yes. whereas Uhuru Kenyatta or somebody else. Yes. Yeah. And I think uh, all indications are that uh, he wants maybe to extend a hand to Uhuru Kenyatta, although Uhuru has emphatically said mm. on national television and even on CNN, mm -hmm. that he doesn't want to come back mm -hmm. as a politician in this country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He wants to retire. He, he, he said that, yes. And you, you believe him? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't believe him? I don't believe. You think uh, the image of Uhuru that is built in the psyche of Kenyans and the real Uhuru are two different things? The, we, we may be dealing with two Uhuru Kenyatas yes. as we stand now. Yes. yes. <laughs> one is for the public consumption. Yes. And the other one is the real Uhuru. Yes. The real Uhuru loves power. <laughs> the, the real Uhuru wants <laughs> power, yes. Why did they want to electronically <laughs> massacre 1.6 million Somalis? Uh, one of the leading uh, uh, causes mm. of uh, the genocide in Yugoslavia yes. was something called bi biological genocide. Yes. Biological genocide was interpreted to mean yeah. uh, there were Serbs and Kosovans mm -hmm. in, in, in Yugoslavia. Yes. Kosovo. Kosovo are Muslims. Are Albanian Muslims. Yes. Yes. And the Serbs are the dominant. Christians. Yes. yes. The, 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 Kosovo, the, the Muslims yes. have an average birth rate yes. of about eight children. Yes. The Serbs have about one. Yes. They found out mm. that there will come a time. Mm when yeah. the Muslims will, will outnumber, outnumber the, Christ the, 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 the Christians. The Orthodox, uh, Eastern, Eastern Orthodox Christians. Yes. Uh -huh. Therefore, they had to start a conflict yes. to reduce the numbers yes, of the Muslims. Yes. Uh -huh. It was brought because of biology. Yes. You see, yes. this one yes. is now similar. Yeah, but it's electronic. But it's electronic. Yeah. There's a notion yeah. that the number of Northern Kenya yeah. it's increasing at is increasing at an alarming rate. Yes. Therefore, the only way you can reduce it yes. is not by killing them. Yes. It's by killing them electronically. Yes. 
That's why I call it electronic genocide. So that you don't have sufficient allocation to the counties in those areas. Yes. Already the, the three counties of Northeastern province are losing almost three billion per annum. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's the aim of the electronic genocide. Yes. Unlike Kosovo, mm -hmm. is to reduce resources to those, those areas. Yes. In the case of Kosovo, it was because of the numbers. To reduce the numbers, yes. Now, what does it matter? We're still going to have elections and every Somali is going to vote. Everybody from all this province is going to vote in this general election which is coming. So whoever thinks uh, I can electronically kill them will not again go ahead and electronically kill them from the voting registers. Yes, but this is a competition of resources, you know. So they want it's only about the resources. Yes. They it, don't care how they vote and yes. the voting patterns in the next election. Yes. It's introduction of sessional paper 10 of 1965 through the back door. Yeah. Intensification as opposed to extensification. Yes. Which basically was what, what Kenyatta's government did. That. Yes, yes. So yes. the son is also has, has the same policies towards the Somalis as his father had. Yes. But he strikes every Kenyan as a happy-go-lucky, very simple guy who holds nothing to heart and who, that, that who, is who, the, who wishes everything good for everybody. That's the guru I, I, I have known. Yeah, you had known before. Yes, but... Uh, from things, the way things are going, yes. the way he's reacting. The two hurus. The, the two hurus. Interesting. Interesting. So BBI is a flop. It's a flop, yes. We will not have a prime minister's position. 7,000 Kenyans yes. for in 47 counties yes. said that we do not want a powerful prime minister. Mm -hmm. We want a prime minister who will do the errand, an errand boy, for the more or less, for, for the, the president, president. So, to assist. So who is going to be the next president? If elections are held today, yeah. the, the writing is on the wall. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> William Samoy Ruto will be, will be president. The next president. Yes. And, okay, Farah, let me what say What about this. if they're held two, uh, two and a half years down the line? I do not know. It depends on who's going to be the candidate against him. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but let me say this. Yes. The elections of 2022 yeah. will be the first election in Kenya yes. based on class. You can take this to the bank. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. It will be a class war. A class election. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, it will be a one issue election. Yeah. Like the same way we had a one issue election in the UK. Yes. It's Brexit or no Brexit. Or no Brexit. Mm -hmm. in, in in America. Yes. It was establishment yes. versus non establishment. Non establishment. Yes. This one yeah. in 2022 is going to be the upper class. It will be the yes, the halves, yes, but the halves not. And who is the half not there here? Who, who's William the, Samoy Ruto is William is one of the richest men in the country. No, but William is from a very humble background. He's not his father has never even been a chief, even an understand chief, even a, a counselor. Uh -huh. We want, I, father, I want my son to be the president of this country one yeah. day. Yes, unfortunately, my father Noor yeah. is not known by anybody. Yes. Or even me, I want to become president of, one, of this country. And nobody knows your father. Nobody knows my father. Therefore, uh. it will be those whose fathers are known yeah. versus those whose fathers are not known. But is that a, 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 a war of dynasty against the non-dynasty or is it haves and have-nots? Because if you say haves and have-nots, Ruto is a very rich guy, very wealthy guy, one of the wealthiest guys in the country. <laughs> I don't think whether he's one of the wealthiest guys in this yeah, country. Is that? By the, the standard. The record is that he's in the top 10 wealthiest guys in the country. Uh, no. And, and uh, it's also indicated and demonstrated very much by the kind of money that he, 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 he flashes around. The only, he's the only, let's say, he's the only politician yes. who the media in Kenya yeah. have carried out a lifestyle audit on him. Yeah. The only one. Uh -huh. But he's not one of the richest in this country. He's, he's not one of the top ten. But he's rich, of course. I think, yeah, of course, yes. How did he make the money? You don't know. Don't, 20 years, yeah. Don't, bo don't yes, bother yes. with it. <laughs> yes, yeah. I don't know, but, you know, 25 years in politics. Yeah. yeah. And politics itself is where you make money. Yes. <laughs> Dynasty, who are the dynasties? Uhuru. Those whose fathers are known in this country. Uhuru, Moi. Yes. Yaramogi. Yes, Jeremy uh Golinga, -huh. uh -huh. uh, <laughs> Mudevali. <laughs> These are all the dynasties. People who got everything on a silver platter. Uh -huh. Yes, I, fought, I, won, I wore my first shoes in Nairobi. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. These were people who were eating Sarilak uh -huh. at, uh, you know, at, uh, at age zero. 
with who napkins were used to yes. clean them up. And yes. And well, and me and you were having camels, you know. And, and wet, wet towels. Yes. You were, you were defecating in the bush there. Yes. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, interesting. Very, very but interesting. But you know, mm. William Ruto, uh, the hustler. Yeah. Uh, there was someone who said that uh, in, in one of the institutions, yeah. one of the yeah. uh, global institutions, yeah. people who work there yeah. are third rate brains yeah. who went to first class universities. Yes. Dynasties yeah. versus the brain of William Ruto. Yeah. Uh, William Ruto is, uh, this, uh, the dynasties are. Uh, First class families yeah. with hundred brains. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Come back to Northeastern Province. Yes. Do you know there was a lot of rigging that happened in Northeastern Province the last election? I don't know, but I had. You had? Yes. Are you aware my own place was rigged? What did you hear from the people you knew in Gariza? Where is that? Yeah, my own constituency in Gariza town when I ran Gariza town. Yeah, I think it was one of, the, maybe one of the constituents where uh, we had so many. Altars, that's why the elections were not listed. Yes, by no, no, the, by rigging, the, court. the, rig, the rigging happened in Gariza. Mm -hmm. They also happened in Wajir. You know that very yeah. well. Mm -hmm. The governors, none of the governors can claim to have won this uh, last election fairly. I know we had a lot, a lot of electoral problems in northern in northern Kenya. In all honesty, uh -huh. in all honesty, I'm <laughs> telling you. Yeah. Now you, you, you support Ruto, I can see. Yes, yes. But in all honesty, yes. A lot of rigging happened on this time. Were you part of that rigging yourself? No, you, no, no. you watched it. I, I, I cannot be a party to any rigging in this country. Yeah. It's morally wrong. But, you, but it happened in Northeastern. Of course, I, I had some, there were some ultra malpractices sometimes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I cannot be very, very specific, you know. <laughs> yeah. How do you think Ruto is going to get any support in Northeastern province mm -hmm. when all the existing the sitting leaders right now uh -huh. were people who were rigged in by himself? Let me tell you this, Farah. And all the real winners uh -huh. are out there in the streets sitting there or, or conducting uh, this interview with, uh, with you like I'm doing now. Yeah. Yes. Let me tell you, Farah. Yes. You are a Somali, I'm a Somali. Yes. Somalis love underdogs. Yes. Uh, and the same way with other Kenyans. Yes. If other Kenyans see somebody is being pushed to the wall. Yes. Victims. They will, victim. Yes. They will start fighting back. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, one issue with the dynasties mm. is this. There is a man called, a professor, called Noam Chomsky. Mm -hmm. Have you heard about him? Yes, 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 yes. The leading public intellectual in the world. Yes, yes. yes, 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 yes and yes, leading yes. linguist. He's a Jewish American, I know. Yes. yes. Author of about 100 books. Yes. Wrote a book uh -huh. called Manufacturing Consent. Uh -huh. The Political Economy Analysis of Mass Media. Uh -huh. The mass media mm. manufacture consent. Yes. They turn victims into villains. Mm -hmm. And villains into victims. And vice versa. Yes. 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 Unfortunately, mm. because of the advent of social media, yes. which has been a very good check. Yes. And on the mainstream media. On the mainstream media. Yes. And the availability of fact checking yes. uh, websites yes. in this world. Yes. And the internet does not forget. Mm. The dynasties mm. manufacturing consent mm -hmm. by employing by employing a lot of mass media yes. on William Ruto yes. failed completely. Mm -hmm. Thanks to social media. Uh -huh. Let me come back to Northern Kenya. Mm. The evolution mm. in Northern Kenya mm. was a god send. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, I have often said yeah. that the Somali nation. Mm. Somali nation that is everywhere. In Which is Kenya, Somalia, Djibouti, Ethiopia, and all. Yes. Yeah. Is I'm proud to be Somali. Mm -hmm. Somali Kenya that is. Mm -hmm. But we have been hampered by certain sections of society. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me tell you now. Mm. They are, I call them Padiem loving foreign <sighs> trip enthusiasts. Yes. Vote of no confidence motion seeking parliamentarians in Mogadishu. Mm -hmm. That's one class which has let us down. Mm -hmm. The other class, mm -hmm. perennially mm -hmm. hungry mm -hmm. Northern Kenya devolution chiefs. Mm -hmm. the governors. Oh, the, the whole thing. Governors, whole plus the CCs and everything. Yes. Perennially 
hungry, mm -hmm. never satisfied. Mm -hmm. Northern Kenya Liberation Chiefs. Mm -hmm. uh, the other group mm -hmm. is what I call fatwa prenuas. Mm -hmm. These are pseudo mm -hmm. religious elders. Mm -hmm. well, also who, business people. Who issue mm -hmm. religious fatwas yes. or religious edicts. Yes. Uh, after every one hour. Yes. But they are not educated, mm -hmm. but they, you know, they dress in such a way that they, they think they're religious elders. Mm -hmm. But we have one of the best religious elders in the Somalis of, yeah. of good, yeah. Uh, yeah. But some of them, a few of them, this, this team mm. has destroyed the image of Northern Kenya and even Somalia. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, mm. the evolution in Northern Kenya, sometimes I tend to ask Farah, how much enough is enough? Uh -huh. How much is enough. enough? How much enough yes. is enough? Uh -huh. We hear this financial year's budget has been stolen. Yeah. Next year, five years. Every year has been stolen. How do you still? Let me tell you. If you are given a billion today, Farah, mm -hmm. a billion shilling, yeah. you, will, you, you will leave that money mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. With your grandchildren, mm -hmm. your grandchildren, your great great grandchildren. Yes. A billion shillings. It's a lot of money. Yes. Yes. Uh, and we have. These guys are stealing billions and they're still not getting, getting satisfied. Yes. How much enough is enough? Mm -hmm. But I'm sure one day yeah. they will pay. Malipo wanna say, Oswald wanna say, Malipo ni? Apa, apa. Yeah. Tell me. BBI is a flop. Yes. We're going to go for the elections in 2022. Yeah. There's not going to be any referendum. Kenyans have said they don't want a referendum. Okay. There are not going to be any changes in the constitution. Maybe we insert uh, through parliament uh -huh. that we have uh, someone we call a prime minister who will do the, ha the, the hand job of yeah. the president. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. More or less like a majority leader, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the next parliament. Yes. And the next election will be Ruto against two for the presidency. I'm sure the the tendencies are ganging up, mm -hmm. um, and it seems Ruto has thrown them off balance now. Uh -huh. They must be ganging up to see who. But uh, Raila, be, you think Raila will be a presidential candidate? I, I'll be glad if he is on the on, yes, on the ballot. On the ballot, yes. If Raila is on the ballot, yeah. if he's not on the ballot, who is likely to be on the ballot? There's talk of Matiangi. Mm -hmm. If, if they bring Matangi, mm. uh, we will have a winner by 10 a.m. in the morning uh -huh. on the second Tuesday of 2022, called William Roth. Well, that's normal. Everybody talks like that. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know if there's going to be any free and fair elections, but if there's a free and fair elections, it's difficult to predict at this stage, yeah. depending on who we are, the candidates. William is... Uh, is a is, is the deputy president of the country. He clearly has some admirers. Yeah. He also has many detractors. Yes, yeah. We'll see as we get closer to yeah, to yeah. that. How is the economy doing now? Very badly. Mm -hmm. The only problem is that the president of this country does not know why we're broke. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> he doesn't know why Kenyans are broke. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah. I will agree with him. Yes. If I was Uru Kata, yes. I would not understand why Kenyans are broke. Yes. Yes. With all that wealth. Very wealthy. Yes. The richest man in the country. Oh, yeah, richest man in the, or even in the continent. Yeah, mm -hmm. one of the richest people in the continent. Yes. Mm -hmm. You don't understand what is happening in the houses of Muranga yeah. and the Russia, Lamuria, mm -hmm. and all those places. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell me, the economy is not doing good. Yes. The youth are not employed. They used to be crying. Yeah. They're asking for a social revolution. Yeah. They want to get rid of all the establishment people. Yes. You think that is a possibility? <laughs> a very high possibility. Uh -huh. In fact, we have all the indicators. Um, in peace studies, yeah. we have two things. Mm -hmm. We have positive peace mm -hmm. and negative peace. Yes. Ours now is a negative peace. Negative peace. Yes. In positive peace, mm -hmm. Is when all the causes of conflict, mm. violent conflict, mm. have been addressed. Yes. Where the equality, 
mm -hmm. where there's justice, mm -hmm. where there is uh, employment, mm -hmm. where there is um, good governance. Mm -hmm. But in the absence of all those, mm -hmm. what we have in Kenya today is latent conflict, mm -hmm. or otherwise referred to as uh -huh. Johan Galtung, one of the leading peace studies professors. Mm -hmm. It's called Johan Galtung. Uh -huh. He calls it negative peace. Uh -huh. yeah. It's peace that essentially, will, at the end of the day, latent. Latent, yes, yeah. just lying. It only needs something very small mm -hmm. to trigger it. Mm -hmm. yeah. God forbid. Abdi. I cut you short when you were when you were you were talking about the Latin piece that's there, yes. which essentially is a negative piece. Yes, you just need a small thing to trigger it. Yes, and that's the state we're in as a country today. Yes, let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. Unemployment is very low in the country. Yeah. The economy has gone to the docks. Kenyans are broke. Although you say Uhuru does not understand why we are broke because he has all the money himself. Are we cutting as some kind of a revolution in the country? All the indicators yeah. and all the ingredients yeah. of a revolution uh -huh. are present. present. Yes. Uh -huh. It is only the go government to address yeah. and see yeah. that there is a youth problem, youth uh -huh. unemployment problem in this country. Uh -huh. And the more we blind ourselves to yes. those facts. The bigger the price we pay. The bigger price we pay. Yes. But uh, for one day, you know, uh, as a country, mm. uh, if Kenya collapses mm. or there's a revolution in this country, yes. God forbid, yes. uh, we'll all be asking ourselves what happened. Uh, there was somebody called Karl Jaspers. Yes. He was a German philosopher. Yes. And was asked mm. after the genocide, mm -hmm. what happened to Germany? Mm -hmm. You guys were watching. What? Mm -hmm. He said, uh, all Germans are guilty mm -hmm. of what happened. Yeah. As a nation, mm -hmm. we will be all guilty yes. of all this. Me, you. And everybody. And he calls, uh, yeah, he says. Because we did not raise the red flag. Yes. Mm -hmm. He says there are types, four types of guilt. Mm -hmm. Karl Jaspers, mm -hmm. a book called The Question of German Guilt. Mm -hmm. He says, there is the political guilt yes. done which the politicians are guilty of, yeah. like you and yes. the team. Yeah. You do not speak enough yeah. against the genocide. Yeah. There's the criminal guilt, yeah. those who took uh, the gun and killed the Jews. Yes. Then there's the moral guilt yes. for people like us yeah. who do not say no. Mm -hmm. Then finally, the metaphysical guilt Metaphysical guilt mm -hmm. uh, are those mm -hmm. who remained alive mm -hmm. while the good ones died. Mm -hmm. It's called metaphysical guilt. guilt. Uh -huh. Therefore, this country, <laughs> yeah. some of us will be metaphysically guilty, mm -hmm. morally, politically, mm -hmm. or criminally. criminally yes. We must say no yes. to what's happening yes. and raise the red flag. Yes. Yes. What what can we what can we salvage now? The country has already gone to the docks. We have, we have an external and internal debt of, cumulative total debt of seven trillion. Yeah. The economy is not doing well at all. There's a capital flight out of the country. Joblessness, people are starving. So what can we do now to arrest the situation? Uh, and more worse. Yes. Uh, penny bills, yes. the, penny counties, bills. the yes. counties have been stifled. Yes. There's nothing going on. Yes. The national government has a debt of about 900 billion for yeah. two, it owes the contractors. Nine trillion. I'm saying the nine trillion. Nine, oh, contractors, 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 900 billion Keynesians. Keynesians. Yes. They have not been paid. Mm -hmm. The government should urgently pay those people. Who is responsible for all this shit we're in now? The buck stops with one person. Who is that? Uhuru uh -huh. Yes. Why do you think he, he ran down this country single handed the way he's run it down? Uh, history will judge him one day. Uh -huh. And to judge him harshly. Did he make any personal benefits out of it? Uh, all indications are that yes, he did. Mm. Yes. The family is richer now. Yeah, of course, yes. That's right. what uh, I read an article by Devin D or somebody. Yes. yes. Why? Why? I also read Same. something on, uh, on, on the milk sector. Milk sector and how the Kenyatta family has monopolized that business through Brookside. Yeah. Uh -huh. Of course. And, and Delamere. Yeah. And how milk now is selling for 
the Kenyan media should ask. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should call the president and ask him yes. all these tough questions you're asking. Yes. Because he's the person, the, the, the wearer of the shoe knows where it pinches. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Very good. There is an initiative right now to rationalize constituencies. So the redrawing of the constituency boundaries is going to start, it, if it has not already started. Seven counties, six, between six and seven constituencies in Northeastern province are likely to be lost. Mm -hmm. So? <laughs> I read the BBI report, yeah. and it says mm. that no constituency should mm. be scrapped. Uh -huh. But what constitutional boundary are you asking for? Yes. When there was an electronic genocide yes. on the northern Kenyan people? Yes. 18 constituencies. But the whole idea might have been to reduce these numbers. Yes. And if under the current circumstances, Barambara is not coming back as a constituency. Yeah. Like there is not coming back as a constituency. Lafay. Lafay, Eldas. Yeah. There's six of them who do not reach the th threshold. Threshold, yes. So what happens? Uniquely enough, uniquely. Mm. In the six, 17 or 16, 17 constituencies in, 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 in Nairobi, mm. it's only Kamgunji constituency yes. which, which has, had a reduction in population. Which has, instead of a growth, it had a, a population, a, a reduction in a population. A drop, a drop. Yes. Why? Because that's where the Somalis are. Electronic genocide. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Yes. Why do you think Uhuru hates Somalis so much? Or does he hate Somalis? I do not think whether he hates. Yes. That's a very strong word. Yes. But the bureaucrats. Yes. There's all indication that the bureaucrats under him yes. do not want to see Somalis. The bureaucrats they used to talk about was General, General Karangi. The team, yes, yes. As part of that team. Yes. General Karangi has not been there for a very long time now. Yeah, they, we, we have the KKs, you know. Yes. Kibichos and the team. Yeah. But we, uh, Somalis have now, northern people have gone to court. Mm -hmm. And the, the courts will open the servers. Yes. And we will just find out another 1.6 million people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the courts did not open up the servers for, <laughs> for the petition, the Uhuru uh, Raila petition last time. No, but the Supreme Court said it should be open, isn't it? Yeah, but they never opened it. Yeah. So but this even time if the court says now they'll not open it again. Of course, yes, yes. And, and, yeah. and the, uh, today's paper shows that the constitutions will be rationalized, which means all those who do not meet the threshold will be dropped. Mm. Yeah, but I think northern people, Kenya, no, people in northern Kenya Are should, sta should stand up. Mm -hmm. yeah. What can they do? Stand up and go to court and challenge and... If the court fails, wait until mm -hmm. next time we're able to do something, yeah? Yeah, push okay. and push, yeah, until something <laughs> happens, yeah. Tell me, yeah. let's assume there's a new revolution in the country and we have a president who does not come from the establishment. The establishment in the sense that not from Jubilee, not from Kanu, not from ODM, not from any of this, not from Waipa. Where do you think that president is likely to come from? Uh, every revolution in the world yeah. has changed actors. Yeah. Look at Somalia. Mm -hmm. Immediately after Syed Barre left, yes. there were new people who yes. came to the political scene. Yes. Generals, left hand colonels, colonels yes. in the Somali army. Yes. Okay. Those again mm. were overthrown uh -huh. by new actors. Yes. Most of, them, most of them died, were killed. Yes. They died. Warlords came mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. You see. They therefore, either died on their own or were killed. Yes. Or ran away to Europe and other places. Yes. And died in those places. Yeah. Like his number two, uh, Muhammad Ali Samatar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it's difficult to say yes. what will happen. Yes. But Kenyans are very resilient, the people. Yes. And the good thing mm. is that our resilience mm. and highly educated people. Mm. Therefore, I think mm -hmm. the, go on, go the on. resilience of the Kenyan people will win the day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm sure Uhuru Keta will come and see the light mm -hmm. yeah. to see mm. that this country mm. is mm. at a crossroad. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, yeah, Uhuru Kenyatta will see the that sense. this country is at, at crossroads. The sense to and put brakes on all these things. Yes. To and, put and the brakes on, on eliminating the constituencies. Yes. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Picture, picture this country five years down the line. How will the economy be? 
five years from now? Yes. Uh, assuming? Yes. Two scenarios, assuming Ruto comes in at the power or assuming another person comes into power who is a revolutionary, as you want to put it, not, not uh, Raila or Uru or Ruto or any of the stuff. <coughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. That will depend on the person, the personality. Yes. Who? David Ndi, for example, say. Wow, oh, David Ndi will make an excellent president. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I, I call him public intellectual number one. Uh -huh. And I call myself public intellectual number two. Yes. David is somebody very amazing. Yes. But he doesn't want to yes. engage in politics. competitive politics. No, no, no. If he's invited by Kenyans, you might be surprised to see the difference in heart. They could change, he could change mm -hmm. his heart. Uh, and I think also, theoretically, he's very good in economics. He's a good mm -hmm. economist. He is a top economist. Yeah, from, from economist. Oxford University. Yes. Yes, he did his uh, PhD there. Yeah. But uh, I don't know whether, the, you know, the ability to turn theory into practice. But supposing he <coughs> runs for elections, he has no money and runs uh, against the establishment uh, led by Uhuru and Raila yeah. on the other side. Yeah, mm -hmm. Any chance of him winning? No. I what do you think? Why is the common man? Why is the common man not seeing how he or she could uh, free himself or, or emancipate himself anyway, from uh, these shackles yeah. of this last uh, six decades yeah. and, and opt for somebody else like David D? We, we get the leaders we deserve. So it's a bad society. Uh, it's a society. It's a societal yeah. problem. Yeah. yeah. Every society gets the leaders it deserves. Yeah, of course, yes. Good societies can get good leaders. Yes, of course, yes, yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But Kenyans are waking up, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kenyans are waking up. Yes. And uh, there's this issue uh, in which what is emerging mm -hmm. uh, is that Raila Odinga mm -hmm. and Uhuru Kenyatta shook hands. Mm -hmm. Raila, mm -hmm. they saw uh, President Hungary, he is, mm. thought mm. that President Uhuru Kenyatta could marshal mm -hmm. the votes of the people of central Kenya mm -hmm. behind Raila Odinga. Mm -hmm. Uhuru is from central Kenya, mm -hmm. but I am wondering why he doesn't know the people of central Kenya. Mm -hmm. I was a district commissioner mm -hmm. in Nyeri County mm -hmm. for five years. Mm -hmm. Another one year in Kenyaga County. Mm -hmm. Some two other years in Embu, mm -hmm. as a district officer, mm -hmm. I know the people from Mount Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, Uhuru Kenata cannot force them to do anything mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the colonialists mm -hmm. even failed to coerce them to do something. And if it's not for the power to say no mm -hmm. by the people of central Kenya, yeah. we will not even have gotten independence. Mm -hmm. I think. Uhuru Kenyatta may be, mm -hmm. may have underestimated the resolve of the people. The resolve of the people of, of Mount, Mount of Mount Kenya. They will take a decision. They will take a decision. They have suffered in the seven years of Uhuru and Uhuru's rule. I think the last two years, I would say. Yes. Maybe the you know 2013, 2017 yes. was relatively good. Yes. To be honest. Yes. But at least two years. 2017, 2019. 2019. Things went terrible. We have a handshake economy. Yeah. Handshake. Economy, economy mm -hmm. where uh, Raila Odinga is mm -hmm. quietly coalescing co around Uhuru Kenyatta, mm -hmm. subservient. Mm -hmm. But uh, let me come back to my point of uh, Northern Kenya, I mean yes. Mount Kenya. Yes. The people of Mount Kenya cannot yes. be forced to do anything. Mm -hmm. And if Raila Odinga thinks mm -hmm. that one day he'll be president because the people of Northern uh, Mount Kenya mm -hmm. will be brought. Mm -hmm. or had it mm -hmm. by Uhuru Kenyatta or anybody else, mm -hmm. that's a fallacy. He's in for the sure. colonialists could not do it. Mm -hmm. He's in for a surprise. In for a surprise, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. In for a surprise. So, a few years down the line, with two possible options, either Ruto being the president or another Kenyan being the president. In both cases, you see fortunes of Kenyans changing for the better. Yes, 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 yes. And, and you know... The war on corruption? How do you see the war on corruption? The war on corruption mm. uh, is, to me, 
is being fought in the media. Look. Nowhere else. I'll tell you this. I served in government for 17 years. Mm -hmm. Kinoti, mm -hmm. the DCI, mm -hmm. in, is a worker, a mm -hmm. very good human being. Mm -hmm. Haji, mm -hmm. excellent. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. the powers that be mm -hmm. may be interfering into the work. Mm -hmm. I wish they were given full autonomy. Mm -hmm. That's why, mm -hmm. despite damning reports mm -hmm. from the, by the Auditor General, yes. from, by governors mm -hmm. in Raila's backyard, yeah. none of them has been taken to court. You see? Mm -hmm. And you saw what happened to Mike Sonko. Mm -hmm. Although Mike Sonko is guilty is, as is, 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 is also a, a, trouble, a troublemaker. Yes. Uh -huh. You know, when you travel abroad and you, know, you go out mm -hmm. to other cities in the world. We throw parties, lavish parties. No, people are wondering at how Nairobians elected a comedian, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lolly. Yeah. That's how they see him. Yeah. How did he end up being the governor, the governor of this country when people say that he was an escaped convict? That is what people are asking ourselves. Mm -hmm. mm. And I wish he goes back to jail to go and uh, to finish, finish his, his term. Yes. Mm. Is, like, equality is he likely to law. do that? Yeah. He has, been given, he has been given a bail on this particular case. The other case was a criminal case. In the criminal mm. case, these cases do not have what you call a statute of limitation. Yes. Why was he allowed to, to go home when that, the fact that he escaped, he's an escaped, escaped convict, yeah. is there in the full uh, purview, mm -hmm. full record? And, okay, having served in jail also, eh, he should not even have been issued with uh, a certificate of good conduct. Yes. Yeah, he should not have been allowed mm -hmm. to vie as a governor. Who, who issued him with that? I don't know. The Rumors same, abound, you know. The same CID? Yeah, unfortunately. You think uh, they, 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 will, they, will, um, they will have heads all there also? Can somebody take political responsibility for that? I think somebody should take... Responsibility, or administrative, yes. administrative responsibility for that. Yeah, maybe, but you Ooh, know, Kenoti or somebody else. But you know, we, we, you live in Kenya, mm -hmm. and I live in Kenya, mm -hmm. and we all live in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Therefore, there is this issue of uh, orders from above, you know. Which is who in this case? Yeah, maybe, most possibly, yes. <laughs> and Ruto at some stage. No, I don't. The yeah, back yeah, stops yeah. with the president. Ruto was so, very powerful at some stage. The back stops with the president, not, not the deputy president. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the Kenyans are. Uh, in 2022, I think, if the leadership is given to one William Ruto, mm. uh, a president who doesn't, who wakes up at five, hard worker, mm -hmm. we will be in for some good things, I believe. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. We can only sit back and watch and see how these things unfold. Unfortunately, we have very little control over them. Unless we go out into the streets. Any chance that Kenyans will go out into the streets? Highly possible. Mm -hmm. If things are the way they are now. Without any leadership, which is more dangerous for the country. There's no leadership. Political leadership? Yes. Or to, off, to, to lead those people out in the streets. Because you know, ordinarily, it was Raila who used to be the political leader of all the opposition forces in the yes. country. Raila has been co-opted into the system. Yes. And if anything, he is seen just as corrupt, even worse than the others. Yeah. Uh, but, but in who, a, you know, has, who has such a clean record that he can go and lead the masses in the country, in the streets up there, and bring about a social revolution? There are so many Kenyans, very good Kenyans. Who? Know? Say her name. Wow. I, 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 the person I would... Njoya? Perfect mm. person. Mm. Reverend Njoya. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and he becomes a president. But you know, also, sometimes... Mm. In revolutions, leaders just emerge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, charismatic people just emerge. And Spontaneous, what they call yeah. uh, things whether that like will be good for the country or not yes. is an issue. Mm -hmm. Whether it will be better by better than Uhuru Kenyatta, yes. it will be even more worse. You know? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Abdi. Only Ethiopia mm -hmm. had an advantage. Mm -hmm. Was lucky. Mm -hmm. uh, the revolution. Yeah, Cairo went out there in the streets. Eh? The Kero, they are called Kero. Yes, yes, yes. Kero, the young men who are yes, running around. Yes. Oromo boys. Yes. They ran around. Ran around. They realized, the government realized that uh, you cannot sustain this. Yeah. It was another form of a handshake. Yes. So you think Uhuru, Uhuru could go for another handshake again? 
and, and peacefully leave the office and say, let's have a new dispensation in here. And <coughs> so if, anything, if nothing else, mm -hmm. so that he can protect his own investments in the country and his wealth, the family wealth. Another handshake with who now? Get it. Handshake now with the masses and say, okay, with the political class, take an exit from there. Normally, I was in government, you know. Normally, he will be advised on all these things. He knows what's happening. Who's going to advise him? He, oh, of course, the, the government agencies, you know. Maybe foreigners, yes. maybe foreigners, but mm. the locals will not advise yeah. him because if he leaves, they also leave and nobody wants to leave. Yeah, and then there's the, the lucky revolution was that of Ethiopia, you know. Mm -hmm. The Ethiopians were lucky in such, because mm. the person who came after mm. the revolution yes. was somebody educated. Mm -hmm. Very well educated. I, very well educated in government for so many long yes, time. Yes. And I think on a personal note, mm. somebody... Human, very human. Human. Mm -hmm. Therefore, and I'm not a rich man. I'm not a rich man. Nothing, nothing to show for in terms of richness. Yes. Uh, and and I, I think the most important thing is vision. Mm -hmm. Visionary, in a sense. I he wants to see Ethiopia as a very independent, very, very free country. Yes. Freedom is freedom. Freedom rings from the mountains and rings from the rivers. Yeah. Rings from the, from the caves and, yeah. and the plains and everywhere. I will not have a problem mm -hmm. if Abi Ahmed fails in his transformative agenda. You will not have a problem? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why? He has laid the foundation. No, he has tried mm -hmm. with a clean heart. Yeah, yeah. Trying is part of you know, success. Mm -hmm. Yeah, But I'm sure he will succeed in so many issues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good so you think another Ethiopia could happen in Kenya? The history is different. Yes. And the context are completely different. Yes. But we have but, but all the ingredients. In Ethiopia, you had just a few... Uh, Tigray generals were very wealthy. Yes. And the rest of the country, including the <coughs> political class, were living from hand to mouth. Yes. But in Kenya, you have th thousands of very wealthy people who have made their money for the last 60 years yeah. through some dubious means. Yeah. They're in the military, they're in the police, they're everywhere. You think they will allow a revolution in this country? Then also, uh, Kenyans. In Ethiopia, you know, there's total subjugation yes. and persecution. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Here, here we have a measure of freedom. Yes. That measure of freedom is going to help mitigate, yes. Yes. mitigate yeah. the impact of the uprising. Yes, yes. Yeah. Abdi, yeah. thank you very much. Thank it's you so always much. a pleasure talking to you. Welcome. Always a pleasure talking to you. Welcome. And uh, until we meet next time, I think this is uh, a very interesting, very interesting topic we covered today. Thank you so much, Ban Speaker. Viewers, we have come to the end of our show today. Until we meet next, goodbye.